Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Today we have something special. I'm announcing the web developer challenge number eight. Okay. So I'm actually going to explain it to you guys even better now because I've actually explained it a couple of times and it seems like people don't understand it or sometimes they are so deep into a live stream, like an hour deep, two hours deep that nobody gets to see it. So this is the official announcement for web developer challenge number eight okay so you're gonna take three designs from dribble or behance or any other resource then build a website or application by using all three designs as inspiration this will help you build your creativity and understand how to make designs on your own okay this is a trick that every single designer does they go online, they find inspiration for other designers, and they also look through magazines, they look through uh, newspapers. There's a, a lot of stuff that people take that, you know, you, you get inspiration from. You could go to a museum, you could go in, you know, wherever, right? Wherever you find inspiration. Like for me, I could just go outside, look at the mountains, and I get some inspiration from that, right? Now, every single person is different okay now to make it very simple for you guys all you have to do is take three designs and then from there create something original out of all three designs for example i could go to dribble.com right go to dribble.com i could say hmm this is a nice messaging app okay so i like the colors that are in here okay this is cool all right so i could say let's take for example I want to build dashboard, right? Or let's say not even a dashboard, let's say a messaging. Okay, message. Okay. So I could come here, take this, right? And say, okay, I like this. All right. I'm going to click on here, save this image. Okay. So I'm going to put this as 1 dB. Okay save that now the next thing that i want to do is we're going to go back to dribble find another design let's say something let's say like for example i could look for forms so i can say okay forms okay where's a good form Okay, I like the way how uh, this is. I could come here, save this, save this uh, to DB. Okay, and then was another one I could come here and let's say was recent, or just go and search suggestions. Let's see suggestions. Okay. Hmm, it's a nice color. Looks nice, but I don't know if I want to keep it. Okay, let me see. Uh, it's okay. It's not that great. Let me see shots, popular shots. Okay, go to now. Scroll down, keep going. Okay. All right, keep going, keep going. See until you find something that you, you think is like, okay, this is interesting, you know? So you just keep scrolling. I know it's a lot. I know some people be like, oh man, but now I gotta do research to do a project and it's like, yeah, man, sometimes you just got to put in the extra work. That's what makes you a better developer. That's what makes you a better uh, designer or, you know, a product designer. Okay. So let's say this. I like this. Right. So I could come here, take this, save that. All right. And save this as 3DB. Okay. So I got this 3 images right here i got that one okay so let's say i wanted to build this this email service okay but i like the layout i like how everything looks but i don't like the color 
So now I could come here and say, cool, I'm going to use this design and I'm going to use the colors that are in here, right? The way how things are. Okay. But I'm going to be building this. Okay. Now, because there's going to be forms, I could say, man, you know what? I want to clean up the forms a little bit better. And that's when you come here and you use this one. Okay. This one has some nice clean forms. So you could take the idea of like, let's say the labels here, and then you have the full width of the form, etc. right? Whatever you decide to do, however your application is. So you're basically taking three designs. Okay. Three different designs and get inspiration from each. It can be the header. It can be just the color. It could be the typography. It could be the spacing. It could be the way how the layout is. You see what I'm saying? Now it's up to you to build whatever application you want. Okay. So you could come here and write it down and say, Hmm, you know what? I've done a to do app. I've done all of this, uh, BS out there. Right? So how about I make a you know a website for uh for movies or anime reviews okay so you can say i'm building an anime review website okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna search online anime reviews see what they got out there see what type of websites like you see like this website looks shitty right they look horrible you know, like they, they don't look good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, look at this, like this, this is like the top anime review websites. Like you guys can do better than that. Okay. So that's the idea behind it. Like literally create an application or create a website and use three designs to influence a original design that you're going to create. Okay. So I hope people can understand this and, and be able to pick up on it and build something new guys it's a web developer challenge this is supposed to be a challenge it's supposed to help you create something original out of those three designs and at the same time make your brain work and make your creativity work you know sometimes i see people who are very talented developers but they can't build anything you don't want to be one of those guys you don't want to be a guy who's like Hey, I'm a code monkey. You tell me what to do and I'll build it for you. Nah, you don't want to be that guy. You want to be the guy that's like, Hey, I could build anything that you want me to do. And I could also build anything that comes up in my mind. And I build it myself because that's, what's going to help you become an independent developer. You don't want to be one of those guys working for a company for 20 years. You want to be the guy that says, Hey, I work for this company, this other company, this other company. And now I'm the CEO of my own company. I'm the CTO of my own company or, Hey, I built something and now it's selling online, etc. Right? So it's up to you. This challenge is literally going to help you practice and build your creativity. Okay. Now, everybody knows that I'm going to be leaving on Monday. Okay. I'm going to be leaving Monday to Dominican Republic, but I'm still going to review this project. Okay. So you have this time around, I'm going to leave it for you guys to be able to do it by Wednesday. Okay. So Wednesday, 1159 PM, you are supposed to get this done. And by early Thursday in the morning, I will upload the video of who is the winner. Okay, guys. And for the other two people that have sent me their, their projects, I'm going to be honest. Um, your projects is not that good. Take this opportunity to go in there and actually fix it up because maybe I didn't explain it too well the first time, you know? So now that you understand exactly what you need to do, go ahead and, and build a project that you're going to be amazed, something that you're going to be proud of. And you're going to have people saying, wow, I didn't know you was that good. I didn't know you could build that. I didn't know you could do this and that, you know, so it's your time guys. So I'll see you guys later. It's your boy, Joe back at it again, codingphase.com.